Come on in. Oh, hey, Eric. Hi. Hey, uh, so we were doing a walkthrough of a house behind us and realized that we didn't really share with you guys what the inside of our RV looks like. Bobby did one with our old RV, but we never got around to doing one for the new one. Uh, we bought it three years ago here in Pensacola, but a lot has changed since then, lots of updates. Let's go share the inside with you. What are you doing in here? Just hanging, checking out how good our RV looks right now. It's Tina's so clean. been killing it. No thanks to Eric, it's very clean. I try, I usually just make it more of a mess. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. So uh, most RVs have over the cab storage uh, or beds. Um, we've turned this into just pure storage. Uh, we make use of the TV, bunch of different stuff. We keep our laundry up here, which is super nice. Um, this is usually stuffed, but with having the house, we've been able to kind of eliminate some of the excess D stuff crap if you will so it's really really good so now we have a lot of extra space which make us feel a lot more comfortable because less will be in our living space more will be in our storage space so there used to be a couch right here and came all the way to right about here you'll see we have a little step stool to get up here usually they like, you'd use the couch to step yeah it used to have a little stair right here and you'd be able to get yourself up but now we have this little step stool which works great so, so once we pull that out, yeah, we added storage. We added uh, a smaller love seat style couch with storage inside, and we lifted it up so we could store stuff underneath, which becomes really nice. So we're making use of uh, as much space as we possibly can. Um, you know, normal cabinet space. We have food and stuff up here. We have uh, work stuff Shipping up here. Things. Uh, Tina made this really cute thing for our, uh, our computers and other work stuff. Your laptop goes in there, you mm -hmm. can strap it in. Mm -hmm. And uh, swing it around, kitchen. Now uh, we're in the kitchen. Yep. Uh, more storage, coffee, uh, the grinder, most important part. you know, uh, for coffee grounds and whatnot. Uh, Tina modded this, gave us a deeper sink, way nicer. The one we had was about Four and a half inches deep. <laughs> Felt like that. Felt like that very, deep. very small. So uh, oven, stove works great. Works great. Fridge, um, more storage space and whatnot. So this is really good. This is about eating area. It will. Um, back here, part in the mess. Once we get to the bedroom, uh, I am packing for Vegas. This so is, this is where I sleep. This is where Eric sleeps. Yeah. Uh, this is what it usually looks like. Ever hear me like, complain actually. about my my neck and back? It's because I'm sleeping in a really terrible angle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we do have some storage above the bed, which is mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, we keep clothes mostly up there and like documents and stuff. Yeah. A couple uh, decorations here and there, but not a whole lot. We have little. Here. Tina's added these hanging baskets in this hanging Eric shelf. I have one too, there, but, but it's not hung up yet. Uh, and then we do actually have a full wardrobe area, which is really hard to find in an RV this size. A must. Look at all this stuff in here. I got all my pants, lots of my polos. Tina's got all her wonderful looking stuff. I love seeing her in all these different outfits. So, and then a couple more drawers right here. And these used to all be this color, but I put in some wallpaper, which was a pain in the butt because of all these corners. And then painted these doors and replaced the handles with whales, of course. Duh. Why not? So I only got around to doing this side, which was a ton of work. And then we bought the house. So I was going to do this in the off season, but turns out Houses. we bought a house instead. Uh, this is a new curtain too. So if we want privacy from the front, if we have guests over and need to change, uh, we can always throw that up too. All right, last but not least, and probably the least exciting, another closet. Yes, I have a lot of clothes. I'm gonna downsize soon, I promise. And uh, then Tina, you also have like that's this is most of your golf stuff. This is most of your like fancy nice stuff. So mm -hmm. there is a difference. Eric I only don't wears have golf stuff. Both, so yeah. So it's a little crammed in here. We do have a toilet that works. Uh, garbage that's Spout's toilet. Um, and then this will shut like that, so uh, you can have privacy in there too. Mm -hmm. And then this is all just kind of random. That's like cat stuff, lip stuff, 
face stuff. Yeah. And uh, our toiletries and stuff like that. So very, very small. But, you know, you kind of get used to anything, really. Totally. It works out. Oh, check out the cab. All right, so this is the last part of the RV. Well, we'll check out the outside, too. We gotta show them the back door. Okay, you're right. The last part of the inside of the RV. And this is where we drive. Mm -hmm. Tina usually sits here, With plugs in. With my computer, in. and I work the whole time. Yeah. So oh, ready uh, to do that. Tell them about this inver the inverter back here and the inverter up there. Sure. Uh, this is a plant that we're gonna try to get to survive, but Spout's gonna try to eat it. Yeah. Uh, inverters, okay. This is a 500 watt power inverter. It plugs into your cigarette lighter, and you can plug USB, and um, regular plugs into it. The whole point being, I can charge my laptop, mm -hmm. we can charge Game Boys. You name it. Um, Computers. Uh, vacuum cleaner, whatever. Yeah, vacuum cleaner's really So then one. this bad boy, it works, usually. This is a 2000 watt inverter. It's been, when it's working, it's probably one of the best things we've had uh, for the RV, just being able to not have to run the generator. Coffee maker, sewing machine. Very simple stuff. It's yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, super nice. And a side note, I mean, we've done a ton of work on this RV. Okay, so you can't really see it, but inside of this, this unit back here, um, in most RVs, it has a trickle charger. Um, this connects to the battery and runs all of the, I think they call it AC. So our lights, our fridge, um, our alarms, like the CO2 monitor. It also controls charging the RV. And so we were having issues with our battery not charging, even though we'd be plugged in for like a week or two weeks, uh, our batteries would still just die. And we do have two batteries in um, the house. So there's a battery for the engine and there's a battery for the RV as well. So we kept having this issue, it wouldn't charge. Um, and then I invested in a converter charger is what it is and had to install it in there and basically it allows more power to charge your batteries versus what is sold like stock. factory yeah. yeah like stock made so um if you are planning on going full time and boondocking a lot it's not really a problem if you stay at campgrounds all the time but we absolutely don't um so it's worth the upgrade i think it was maybe 200 dollars, but man has it been worth it no battery issues since i installed that so super cool Okay, coming out of the RV. So this was a really big selling point of us getting this RV. Jonathan Ray has pretty much the same exact model of, uh, of this. Um, and we saw this and this was a must. So this is underneath the queen bed in the back, full storage basically all the way almost to the other side, but uh, basically to where the bathroom is. Um, so that is plenty of space. We have all our setup, three tables. Uh, what is it? That's eight, 11 bins back here. Plus whale sack stuff, plus hats, plus... My bag and my cart. Yes, Tina's bag, Tina's cart, chairs, uh, a pop-up tent, uh, tools, you name it. We have pretty much everything back here to take care of it. So that's great. And there's a, a back access as well back here um, that uh, you can that's make That's where my cart of. is. Uh, this is our plug box. This I have to open all the time because our heater likes to not work. Well, hopefully we that's our generator that. down there and that's hoses and stuff so uh, as most RVs go there's storage around the outside so we have other just knickknacks and different things kind of stored uh, different places like the the plugs um, sometimes some of our risers to make sure that we're level if we're ever parking in an uneven spot so we got it kind of got it all also if you don't yet go follow us on Instagram DVDs. and that's Eric has pants. And that's from Germ, and that's from Hum, and I love Oregon. Uh, so I think that's basically a wrap. Nothing really too important on this side except the Whale Sacks logo. Look at that. Thanks for watching. Go follow Whale Pants on Facebook.